A Day in the Life of Karl Marx Woke up early and had several cups of coffee to get going. I had stayed up late composing a critique concerning Hegel's philosophy of the right. Felt strangely gassy for some reason. Walked on the treadmill while reading some of the local propaganda. Was encouraged that a settlement may soon be reached in the ongoing baseball players' strike. Made a heaping helping of my famous eggs Das Kapital. I sent the recipe to Adolf Ruttenberg but I fear he has turned his back on Helgelian philosophies and become a vegan. Thought I might spend some time working on the quilt I was making for the League of the Just fundraiser, but these damn cats won't leave me to my work. Became frustrated and left the house in a huff. Decided to do a little fishing instead. Had a very relaxing time with my faithful dog Monarch. Came home fishless and read a few pages of Adam Smith's The Wealth of Nations. I had to cut my reading time short so that I wouldn't be late for a lunch appointment. Had lunch with Friedrich Engels. I wanted to talk about Feuerbachian materialism, but he repeatedly turned the conversation toward his ideas on the dialectics of nature. However, I must say, the duck confit de canard was absolutely exquisite. On the way home, I stopped at a local emporium and shopped for lawn chairs. Unfortunately, I found their entire selection a bit too utilitarian for my tastes. Came home, and after editing an article for the Deutsch, Franzosisch Jarbucher newspaper, took a quick shower and darned a couple of pairs of socks. While on my way to another engagement, I stopped at a tailor's shop. I told him I thought his inventory was a bit lacking and seemed somewhat shabbily made. He sighed and said that unfortunately he had no control over the means of production. Did a little fan service by attending a dinner arranged by some of my avid readers, most of which, surprisingly, turned out to be women. Gave a short, uncontroversial speech. The beef bourguignon was hearty and delicious. After signing a few autographs, I left the restaurant and went next door to a little pub for a glass of bourbon and a cigar. Regrettably, one thing led to another, and I eventually became embroiled in a drinking contest with several members of a local labor cooperative. The place soon became quite crowded, for it was ladies' night and all the drinks were half-priced. A joyful experience was had by all as the DJ was playing lots of Bach and Verdi tunes. As the night wore on, though, I became increasingly solemn and despondent, my very being consumed by a growing sense of alienation. I left the place and made my way home down dark, deserted streets. Had planned on starting a correspondence with Joseph Wademeyer and sat down in my chair to contemplate the topics I wished to discuss, but I quickly fell asleep. The end of a rather busy day.